This is my son. He is three years old and he is 100% pure human being. I love this kid more than anything. Our family, we live here, largely uninterrupted by the world's problems, except for when we go to church. Church for us is the place where the world shrinks, uh, our hearts, they swell, walls of latitude and longitude evaporate. Church is where statistics become stories. This is a boy from Syria. He's also three years old, and just like my son, 100% pure, the purest of pure human beings. Their family lives here, in opposition to my experience, directly interrupted and uprooted by the world's problems. And you know, that's a lot more common than you might think. Right now, one in every 122 people on Earth are on the run. Some from natural disaster, but more and more are seeking refuge from violence and persecution, political upheaval, and social implications beyond their control. 57 million people and counting have been forced to flee their homes and seek safety across borders. Welcome to church. The country of Lebanon holds the record for most refugees per capita in the world. A third of its population are displaced people. 500,000 Palestinians and over a million Syrians are seeking refuge in Lebanon. it seems that the, the, the crisis is, is uh, extended, it's not going to end soon. So we cannot keep refugees living in the situation they are living now. The access to water, to latrines, and to uh, proper shelter is still, after five years, is still inappropriate. But when the war started, we started to think about it. And now we're going to die, and then we're going to die, and then we're going to die, and then we're going to die. The only reason people risk taking the boat to Europe is because they have nothing else to lose. Group therapy and other methods of psychosocial care is a great way the church can restore hope to those on the ledge. Though many Christians remain in hiding. We cannot anymore say that uh, this is uh, this is a, a Muslim word and this is a Christian word. This is a civilized word and this is a, a, a down or maybe a retreated, a retreated word. No, the, the word is one. This camp is in the southern suburbs of Beirut. It was built for displaced Palestinians in 1948. But the camp was never meant to be permanent. Several die from electrocution each year. Two weeks after filming, suicide bombers attacked a neighborhood nearby. 
leaving 43 dead and the community fearful of escalating violence. Even if I raise my voice a little bit, I see a lot of fear. Some of them, they cannot look into your eyes directly. I want all foreigners to understand that this is not a political issue. Normal people like me and like my children, like my family, we are the ones who are suffering. So I hope they can see the, the, human, the human side of this war. The common hope they have is to go back to Syria and rebuild the, their country. And I heard a lot about them about this, that I want to be engineered to rebuild my house and my, my cousin's house and my friend's house. It's like that. I, they have passion. And I think this generation can change the future there. I pray God will help me and God will come back to my country and I will come back to my country and I will come back to my country. ويعني يعمل مستقبلي مثل اول قبل كل شيء سوريا يعني قبل اي محل ثاني سوريا يعني انا عندي بيت انا كنت موظف ببنك بدمشق بمصرف تسليف الشعب عرفت شلون كرايست واز ذا فيرست وان هو ار هو هو ووك ان فرونت اوف اس اند وي وي فولو هيم جيسس كيم تو تو شير اور هيومانيتي اند وات ايفر وات ايفر وي دو ات از ات از لايك سمثينج لايك ميبي سمول بات ان ان ذا ايز اوف جاد اند ان ذا ايز اوف جيسس اتس اتس ريلي بيج When Jesus was a toddler, he was a refugee too, fleeing the wrath of a jealous king, King Herod, hiding in Egypt with his family until it was safe to return home. And honestly, that's what every person deserves. It's just to be home. So this Christmas, what what was it that Jesus said? Love your neighbor as yourself? So, whatever you spend on your family, bring an equal amount to bring hope to a refugee. Your sacrificial gifts will inspire creative intervention in these four areas. First, defending the right of our displaced sisters and brothers to stay home. Second, supporting their right to safe passage when they must flee. Third, welcoming new arrivals and providing plans for their integration. And fourth, walking alongside those who are returning home, whether by choice or by force. Share home this Christmas. Remember, Christmas is not your birthday. It's Jesus' birthday. Let's give Jesus, the refugee, a gift he will never forget.